Hello, beautiful souls. How y'all doing? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brainy, and this is Brainy Twin Gemini, where we speak of spiritual health, growth, fitness, the law of attraction, life, love, all good, good things. I'm going to be doing a Divine Love Twin Flame Soulmate reading as it resonates for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Energy. Take what resonates, pack away what doesn't. Realize that energy is not static. It changes um, daily, hourly, however um, it's meant to change. I'm going to start with the masculine energy. And the masculine energy has been going through um, a tough time in the last, I want to say, 24 hours. Um, again, we all navigate at different speeds, at different cycles, at different times. Um, we all have diff different gen genetic blueprints. And for some masculines that haven't already, they're ending karmic cycles that don't fulfill their soul. And, and it's, it's, um, it's causing some heartache. It's causing some pain. It's causing some grief. Um, and just they're overthinking the situation. Even though they've removed that cycle or they're trying to walk away or articulate a plan on how to get away, um, it's it's really causing them some, I want to say, temporary grief. So feminine energy may be feeling this. You may be feeling just this overwhelming sadness that's coming from your masculine energy. Um, because this karmic partner or cycle um, has been a legacy to them. They've held on to it very, very long, longer than they should have. But Divine God Source came down and gave them an abrupt sign, and they, they they took this sign, and they realize that it's time to go, because it no longer fulfills their soul or feeds their soul. So you may feel that overwhelming sadness, uh, feminine connection. Um, they also have been, as you know, they they've been kind of like sitting there just thinking about their their life in general their past transgressions, trauma, um, they're really going within themselves because when you came into their life, you changed them forever. You brought them to a sense of awareness that they've never seen before. They're completely aware of their surroundings. They're completely aware of themselves. They, you know, they are dismantling that false self one layer at a time. It just doesn't happen simultaneously when you dismantle i want to say the nemesis or the poison of the ego it can happen very abruptly all at once or it can happen in stages and they're they're peeling away the layers of their false self almost like an onion until there's nothing left of that false self and they get to their true authenticity if you had the beauty of being together in the physical what a magical blessing that is. Your your love emanates and radiates to everyone around. So sometimes that that the love is meant to um I don't know, I wanna say you spark the light within others without even realizing it. And when others see you, they're like, What a beautiful power couple they are. And you emanate light within, and then you emanate light with others. Unfortunately, sometimes um, the the low vibration of some souls, they're actually jealous of the love that you emanate, that you radiate, and that you share so deeply. And that's a karmic partner. Um, the karmic partner knows that something's going on with the masculine, energy um they feel like their love is somewhere else and not with them and that is that exactly the the truth um their love is with their i want to say divine feminine or twin other or other part of their soul and you know that's what's causing chaos right now in these these karmic eruptions um like i said the, the masculine is just going through this get rediscovery of themselves and they're doing a lot of thinking they're doing a lot of imagining they're doing just 
like of what their life would be like with you. Um, they've they've surrendered to oneself and to your love. They've surrendered, so they're you know they they they've. This is a difficult journey, and again, I, I don't, the messages come the way the messages come. I do not manipulate them in any form, sense of the way, nor do I ever want to. Um, there's a lot of imposters out there. Um, this is a journey of love, of oneself, and unconditional love of each other and the world. It's not about um, revenge. It's not about narcissism. It's not about abuse it's not about any of that and if if that is where you're at in this connection then maybe this is not your connection your twin will never hurt you intentionally you deal with a lot of trauma and you internalize a lot of trauma that trauma is meant to be healed and it's not you're not the love that you have in the physical is not sustainable because you would in, explode from the inside out it, it, the love that you emanate in your heart is so powerful, but it it kind of coincides with the trauma, and it's it's just that energy within yourself. It's like raging. So there's like I said, a lot of imposters out there monopolizing off you, off your vulnerability. I, you know, started this journey in 2019. Um, came into the beautiful beautiful essence of my twin. We separated for a short period of time, probably a year and a half, but we were rubbing shoulders, I want to say, for 20 to 30 years in the physical on earth, which means we went to the same college, didn't know it, lived on the same street, didn't know it, went to the same venues, didn't know it, the same parks. We, we were brushing by each other for decades, and then we met each other, and online, ironically, and then we just had this power love, and then it just started dwindling. And then we dwind we dwindled away from each other, and then we migrated back to each other. When I was in physical separation, like you, feminine energy, I was crushed. I was weathered. I was beat down. I was like so many things went through went through me. Like why did this happen? Well, you know, I was just living my life. Like why did this soul come in and just rip me from the inside out? It's meant to heal you. It's meant to get to a greater sense of yourself. Um, and, you know, I wanted answers. I was hungry for knowledge. Like, I've never felt this way. I remember being in a mall with my daughter, and we had this altercation the night before, and that's the trauma coming out. That's why it's not sustainable. And it wasn't anything abusive. It was just... We were so, the, the love was so raw and pure and vulnerable that there was a lot of miscommunications between the two of us. I had the worst anxiety attack I have ever had in my life. And I almost fainted. And I, and I never went through that ever in my life. So I wanted to know what was going on. And ultimately, I had a very powerful messenger. I did look at some of the shenanigans online. And right away, I was pushed to come with the truth it's your choice we have free will you do as you please but please beware of the, the imposters out there they're monopolizing off your vulnerable heart and it and the masculine is also hungry for knowledge as well because they have a love in their heart for you that they they can't explain you never ever leave them um, they've been dreaming um, about you and they feel they've come to this wisdom that and knowledge that you, as they go within themselves and unravel the layers that this is a past life connection and a lot of this a lot of these concepts are new to many of you like you know kundalini awakening past life connection this knowledge comes to you when it is meant to come to you you know it's like I said, it's not about bashing karmic partners. It's it's not about any of that. If you're in that vortex, um, then you're you, you know you're you're kind of blocking yourself in your own journey. Um, they are just really focusing on themselves, and they're just they're kind of I want to say in self isolation. They're 
you know, keeping to themselves because they are going through this sadness. They enjoy the time by themselves because when they're by themselves, they get this knowledge and this wisdom and it helps them harmonize their, their body, their temple that houses their soul and it helps them harmonize their soul as well. They really want to talk to you, feminine energy. Um, they want to send a message to you. They desperately want to communicate with you. They don't want to lose you, but in the same token, they're not, they, they don't want to lose themselves. And as they peel those layers away, they feel like they're losing their identity. And they truly, truly do love you. You, you have to believe that and have faith in your heart. They, I, I feel like some of you are going to get um, some communication. It may be um, not so robust. It may start very um, friendly. Hi, how are you doing? I haven't spoke to you for a while. But I've been getting communication for quite some time. And some of you are, thank you, blessed souls, for sharing that you are talking. You know, there's a huge shift in in the universe, and you are meant um, to give unconditional love for each other. It's not narcissistic. It's not abusive, as I said. It's unconditional love. And you have to free yourself from those barriers of putting those labels there that society wants us to put, you know? Um, so I always believe in an animal spirit. They come at the perf perfect moment in time. Uh, they deliver very valuable messages. So do, there's so many signs and synchronicities that sometimes we fail to see. If we see it over and over again, we could, that could, do, that could remind us that we have a repetitive mindset that we need to break free of. So sometimes they deliver messages um, of, I want to say, magic, blessings, faith, and hope. But if you're overthinking and doing something that's not fulfilling your soul, you will also get those numbers too as, as a message as well. But the animal message for masculine today is number 66, and it's white raven spirit, and it's trust in the magic. And I feel like the masculine is opened up, um, knows that there's infinite possibilities, that there's so much more um, to our universe than just this earth. They believe in all sorts of telepathic energy, and they know that they are energetically bound to you feminine energy. They know who you are. They know what you are. They know why you came into their life. What they do with that information is on them because they have free will and you cannot manipulate their will. What you can do is love unconditionally. And the beautiful messages that they have for you specifically are the love that emanates from my beloved's heart is the light that stems from the mind of God, goddess. Through each other we become one. I give thanks for the endless blessing that is you. And that's exactly it. Through each other we become one. And God, Goddess, mind of God, Goddess, is truly higher consciousness. You will get to that knowledge and that wisdom. And when you do, you will liberate yourself. Um, the next message is, in order for you to heal your relationship with another, you must first heal the relationship you have with yourself. Forgive yourself, accept yourself, and love yourself. And that's exactly it. It's a journey of self-love and, and self-forgiveness. Um, because it, you truly, if, if you can't forgive oneself, it's nearly impossible to forgive others and love yourself first, always. Because when you love yourself, that love emanates from the heart naturally and you become a magnet for love. Um, I don't know who this message is for, but some of the masculine is feeling um, some negative energy and the message is, is just to let go of the negative thoughts um, because they feel that negative energy. So that's what I have for the masculine energy. What do we have for the beautiful, beautiful feminine energy? Beautiful, divine, feminine. So I feel like you can feel the masculine's energy right now, um, this temporary grief and sadness, and you're feeling the same way and you're questioning your faith 
you're questioning this connection, you're questioning everything, like you know that you're twin flames, but you're in this, I want to say, this little vibration of confusion again, just know that it's natural, um, it is a journey of confusion, it's one of those, I want to say, those, the nemesis of the mind, the thought, the ego, uh, I think it wants to bring you back to this confusion, so that you ultimately give up, and you lose faith, and you know, and you move on. One of the most important elements of this journey is to let go and accept and just have faith in the heart and 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 just move on from that prison of physical separation. Um, because as long as you invite that into your life, you're going to stay in physical separation. Um, because if you, if you think about it, like the law of attraction is very powerful. You share with your, you know, closest soul, tribe, group, friends, family, even co-workers that, you know, you're in physical separation. Well, the more you, the more you say it, the more you invite it into your life, believe it or not. Um, the truth of your, your connection is going to come in ways that, you, in ways that you may not understand. And they come in, and I always say this with very powerful signs. So Divine Feminine, you're going to see something very crazy happen. Um, and that truly is to restore the faith back in, in the heart. Um, I feel like it's very difficult for you right now, but that's because you're so empathetic and um, to your masculine. And you have passion, loyalty, you're nurturing. And right now, all you want to do is just hold them in the physical and and just comfort them for some of this the grief that they're going through for ending these karmic cycles and partnerships you you feel that and but and you you come back with the with the unconditional love when you need to but then there's this this reluctance to let go of this label of physical separation and it's you know, it's only putting you in, in, in a prison. It's not putting anyone else in. You are a beautiful, loving soul. And you are meant to love oneself. And, I f it, you know, I feel like for some of you, um, the focus is always so much. It's like unhealthy sometimes, um, an unhealthy obsession. You know, it's... As you know, I could tell my story for hours, what I went through, but I, what I did was I followed the faith of, of, of my heart. And I let my heart do most of the navigation on the journey because I knew that God, our creator, would not bring this beautiful soul in my, into my life. There had to be a reason. And that's why I was hungry for knowledge. And that's why I'm a messenger. Sometimes to pull you up and pull you out of that rabbit hole. That you sometimes get, all of us get sucked into. As I said earlier, these imposters are just parasites. They're monopolizing off wounded warriors' souls, and you know, and and they're, you know, taking what they shouldn't be taking from your un, like your unconditional love and your and your raw pure vulnerability. And like I said, I when I saw some of the things I saw, I thought it was a joke, to be quite honest. I'm like, this can't be real. Um, but again, you listen to what you want to listen to. I'm not here to, you know, be a preacher. I'm here just to be, merely be a messenger of unconditional love. That's my, my mess. Like, that is my, my message. That is my calling. I want nothing more than your beautiful souls to come together. I feel like some of you um, are, you know, in this never-ending story, and it's time to go. And it's not as it resonates with your masculine. You're just completely in drama all the time, and you know it. It, it has to do with like family and and friends, you know, very toxic relationships. And you, you are so nurturing and you're so loving. And they come to you, but they also treat you like the doormat of life. Like, 
they take advantage of your kindness and, and your empathy. And it's time to go. It's time to do what's right by you. Um, if you do, many doors will open. I feel like some of you are very connected to yourself spiritually. Um, you, you're co-creating with spirit. And, you know, you're doing so many things. There's so many wonderful things that are happening in the universe without your physical visibility. And then there's some things that you're you're doing that is blocking um, the connection. And that's overthinking too. But what you're doing is you're both triggering that energy with each within each other. It, it you know what this is a test of your faith and your will. And what happened you're so connected energetically that you'll trigger that wound. You will trigger love. You're meant to overcome all of these obstacles, these hurdles of the ego. And then you will come out in, in, in such bliss and such light. And it's so, so beautiful. Um, as I said, the masculine wants to speak to you. They want to communicate to you. But Divine God, Co-Creator, will only do it once, once your souls have graduated and purged and healed, purged the soul, so to speak, of all the garbage and come into this pure innocence and bliss and joy. Um, I, I, I don't know if this is one for a thousand. I have no idea. There's a sense of bitterness there, contempt. Um, let it go and, and just love you and live your life. Don't be a prisoner to this. Um, you're not meant to be a prisoner. You're meant to grow from this and be like end the prison that, you, that we tend to put ourselves in in general, in life, and liberating yourself and, redu and and just releasing that ego and seeing what what your soul is truly capable of and what you are capable of is, I want to say, radiating un unconditional love in your heart. So, tough message. Sorry, um, don't know who it's for, but I, you're just triggering some triggering some wounds triggering um, like the masculine is going through some karmic chaos and in and they're they're sad and you know they're grieving one thing um, and again whatever you want to believe in is what you want to believe in I'm, nobody ties you to a chair to listen to what you want to listen to um, karmic partnerships are loving partnerships they're not Narcissist, some of them can be narcissistic, but they start out as a loving relationship and they can turn narcissistic. Um, so it still hurts and you have to nurture the masculine's wounds, help nurture them because it does hurt, you know, um, when you end legacy relationships, it hurts because it's new. But when one door closes, another one opens. And I feel like it's just, it's time to let go of something that you're hanging on to. And if you do, a great big love is, is on the horizon. Um, and that's your divine masculine. And I, I don't know what made me do this yesterday of all days. I've never done it. I've done it twice in the last four years. I was kind of looking at other twin flame, because I was curious, I'm curious, um, messengers or tarot readers or however you resonate i don't really feel like i'm a tarot reader i don't even touch tarot i look at oracle more and i actually customize my own decks um just unbelievable the negativity that's out there um it's about love <laughs> truly it is um so maybe that's what you need to let go of i have no idea um but your beautiful animal spirit message today, and I love this so much, is number 20, and it's dolphin spirit. And dolphins are beautiful creatures, as all creatures are created equal, and we are as well. Um, this is that are true. This and that are true. So I know there's a sense of confusion. I know there's a sense of um, denial. Um, you're not doing this. It, 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 whatever you feel in your heart, whatever you feel in your soul, um, 
that's your inner guide. That's you, your soul calling to you, your soul call. And, you know, if you lose the faith in your heart, then you've lost the faith in your connection. And then the connection just kind of just disintegrates. Make sense? So your loving message to your masculine today is you're always in my heart like a glowing ocean light, a shimmering star in heaven. Love is a golden memory drifting through space like autumn leaves, recollections of loving days and nights. Exactly it. Both of you are in each other's heart. It's energy. You can't leave. What? How are, 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 our ego navigates the journey? Well, that's another thing. Um, you know, we always want we always want to listen to our ego, and unfortunately, the ego is our prison. Um, I'm so grateful for you, my love. You give so freely without condition. Life is an endless flow of blessings because of your great love. And that's exactly what it is. Gratitude. Um, gratitude is a very, very, very powerful energy. And having gratitude every, every day for a few moments a day can truly, truly change your, your path, your journey. Um, I can't even explain how it can change. I have beautiful videos out there of affirmations. These affirmations are for you to help you on your path. Because the more you open your heart to gratitude, the more the doors will open. So that's what I have for you beautiful souls today. Again, if any of this resonates, kindly hit the notification bell, subscribe, comment, like for more videos like this. Have a beautiful day, folks.